Hi y'all, welcome to my channel BK World TV. Today we will be continuing the build on the Agora Models DB5 from the 007 series. Uh, this is for Pac-10 stages 76 through 84. <music> So today, as you can see here, we will be continuing the build on Agora Models DB5 from the 007 series. Uh, this is for Paxton, stages 76 through 84. So basically, we'll be uh, installing the, uh, working just on the uh, body. So basically installing the windshield, windows, the doors, and some of the uh, interior linings. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. In stage 76, uh, we will be fitting the rear uh, deck here, which is this little uh, plastic piece. This will sit uh, in between the, uh, behind the rear uh, seat and the rear window. So just a little space in between. Uh, but so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, we'll be installing this uh, rear deck uh, box. It'll attach, this little cover is gonna attach right into this uh, hole there. So if we uh, zoom in just a little. It's gonna clip into place just like that. Then uh, once we put that uh, little box there, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, attach this onto the body. So we'll bring over the uh, main body here. So if we uh, zoom just out a little bit, I'll set the main body down. And then we will be attaching this uh, rear deck right uh, over here. It's going to be seated uh, just like that. Then we will be securing that into place with two DS06 screws. Uh, the DS06 screw is going to go on these two points here. Then uh, one PS12 screw, which is going to uh, be uh, screwed in right at the rear. So let's go ahead and get that uh, screwed in. So as you can see, uh, we now got the rear deck installed. So if we flip it over, uh, it will look just like that. And then this, the rear seat will be uh, here in the front. But anyways, that is it for stage 76. In stage 77, uh, we will be uh, unboxing the uh, windshield. Uh, there's two versions of the windshield. One uh, just a clear uh, windshield and the other one with uh, bullet holes or bullet impacts. But anyways, uh, uh, for this stage, there's basically no assembly. Uh, it's just basically unboxing the uh, windshield. So we'll go ahead and unbox the uh, windshield here and just take a look at both versions. So as uh, you can see this is the bullet impacted uh, windshield version and then if we take a look at this one this is the uh, clear version so as you can see we yeah, have both versions right here. I don't know if it's a little bit hard to see here, but you'll. Uh, but uh, for this build, we'll be using the uh, clear version, uh, as we'll be installing the clear uh, uh, windows all around. But uh, I think I believe every window does uh, in this in this model includes a bullet impacted version as well. So if you want to alternate, uh, you can do that as well. But anyways, uh, that is it for uh, stage seventy seven. In stage 78, we will be mounting the windshield uh, that was included in stage uh, 77 and then also the wipers. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we have the main body uh, right here. So we'll go ahead and set the uh, windshield or whichever windshield that you choose to build with uh, right in there. I'll seat that in just like that. And then next, we'll, we'll be uh, taking the window trim that's included in the stage. And then we will slide uh, that right in. So the bottom three, um, or four, uh, there's three little uh, notches on the bottom that's going to go into the hole along with the uh, two on the side. And then the top is going to go underneath inside the body. So just slide that right in. So this will look just like that <clears throat> and 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and uh, screw the whole thing in. Flip it over nice and carefully. Then basically uh, we will be for the uh, bottom five uh, screws we'll be using PS21 and then for the top three uh, we will be securing the windshield into place with uh, three DS29 screw so let's go ahead and screw them in so as you can see we now got the uh, windshield uh, installed so we'll go ahead and uh, flip the uh, body back and then next we will be installing the wipers uh, which is uh, these ones here uh, they are marked uh, left and right so the right one uh, will go to here just like that And then we will be securing that into place with one PS39 screw. So let's go ahead and uh, get that screwed in. So for the wiper, the uh, PS39 screw will fit in uh, these two holes. Uh, one for the left and one for the right. Then next we'll do the uh, same thing for the uh, left side of the uh, wiper here. So basically just fit right there. Then we will uh, screw that in again with another PS39 screw on the other side. Just like that. So if we flip it over, as you can see, if we zoom in, uh, we got the uh, windshield here and the uh, left and right wipers uh, installed. So that is it for stage 78. In stage 79, we will be preparing the roof liner. So this uh, liner is going to go uh, inside on the, uh, in the interior side of the, uh, the roof of the body. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, <coughs> we uh, zoom in here. Uh, we'll be installing the uh, left and right uh, rear hooks. Uh, they are marked uh, left and right. So basically the hooks is going to go uh, install right uh, there. So if we do this correctly, it's going to install, uh, it's going to click on just like that. So left and right. Then we will secure that into place with uh, two uh, PS03 screw or uh, one screw on each side. Let's go ahead and get that screwed in. So flip this over. I'll get that uh, screwed in just like that. Then we will do the uh, front hooks, which are the smaller ones. Again, they are marked uh, left and right as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that installed. Then flip this over and then we'll secure that into place with uh, one PS03 screw each. So just like that, if we uh, zoom out, you can see we now have uh, four hooks uh, installed onto the uh, liner. So that is it for stage 79. In stage 80, we will be fitting the sun visor and then the uh, roof, liner, roof liner lights and then the rear view mirror and then attaching the liner to the uh, body. So let's get started. So first off, uh, we'll be taking the left and right light uh, reflectors. They are marks. And then we will be putting the light uh, lenses onto it. Uh, so the lenses will only go in one direction. Uh, one pin is larger than the other. So basically just uh, put that in. Then we'll do the same for the right side. And then for the uh, left uh, roof liner light, uh, we'll bring in the uh, liner here. And then we will be placing the uh, light right there. in the center. Let's 
So just like that, it will snap into place. And then we'll go ahead and uh, do the same thing to the uh, right side here. Snap into place just like that. And I zoom out just a little. And then we will be securing both of the uh, lights into place with uh, one PS03 screws each from the other side. So flip it over. Then we will screw that in. So now that the lights are on, we'll go ahead and uh, go back to the uh, inside there and then we will be attaching the uh, left and right uh, sun visors so the sun visors uh, will attach uh, one side will attach uh, in through there and then uh, it will place will be clicked into place just like that on this side so kind of like that and we'll do the same on the left side as well. Maybe it'll look just like that. Then next, uh, we will be uh, setting up the mirror. So we have a uh, sticker uh, for the mirror. So I'll go ahead and uh, remove that sticker. Then we will place the sticker onto the uh, rear rear mirror itself. So it'll look uh, basically just like that. Then we'll bring in the liner. Then we will install the mirror. Uh, there's a hole, little, uh, the pin will go through that tiny little hole there. So basically we will just uh, put that in. Just like that. Just, you can see we got the uh, mirrors and the uh, the rear view mirror and the sun visor installed. So now we will be uh, installing the liner onto the body. So we'll bring over the body. So we'll be sliding the uh, liner right in and it's going to go right underneath there. And just need to make sure that's lined up uh, all, the, all the way into the back. And then we will be securing the liner into place uh, with four DS01 screws. So let's go ahead and screw it in. So as you can see, we now got the uh, roof liner installed to the uh, body there. So that is it for stage 80. In stage 81, we will, we will be fitting the rear right window and trim uh, so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see uh, we got the uh, trim there and then we got the uh, clear as well as the uh, bullet impacted uh, windows right there but we will be using uh, for our build uh, we will be using the clear one we'll set the uh, bullet one aside and then we will be installing the window to the uh, body so let's bring our body here so as you can see, uh, we will be installing the uh, window. It's gonna, there's a knot, two notches that on the top. It's gonna uh, go right in. The bottom click right into place, just like that. Then we will be putting this uh, trim. Uh, around it uh, the instruction does say to put a little bit of glue onto the uh, onto the each of the uh, little pins on the uh, trim so let's go ahead and uh, uh, get some glue installed then we will be installing the trim onto the body there So 
So just like that, uh, we got the rear window and uh, right uh, rear right window and trim installed. So that is it for stage 81. In stage 82, we will be fitting the rear left window and trim. So basically it's a repeat of a stage 81 just for the uh, left side. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll bring our uh, body here. Just like that. And then we will uh, apply some glue onto the uh, left trim there. So I'll go ahead and uh, get some glue. Then we will go ahead and get the uh, trim installed. So just like that, uh, we got the trim and the rear left window installed. So that is it for stage 82. In stage 83, we will be attaching the right and side body panel. Uh, that's uh, in this back here, as well as attaching the right side door. So let's get started. So first off, uh, we will be uh, getting the right side door that we installed on I think the very, maybe the first uh, few packs of the series. And then we will be pre-tapping a uh, one DS12 screw that will be uh, later mount, uh, used to mount the uh, door to the body. So let's go ahead and pre-tap uh, a screw there onto the hinge. So oh, if we zoom in here, we're going to pre-tap one screw just so uh, it'll be easier to install uh, the screw later on. So once we uh, pre-tap the screw, we'll just go ahead and uh, <coughs> remove it and then set the screw aside. Just make sure you don't uh, lose the screw. So next we'll be uh, bringing over the main body. So let's bring over the body here. So if we uh, <coughs> zoom out, you can see we got the uh, body right there. Then basically, uh, if we flip this over just a little bit, without scratching anything, so as you can see, there's uh, three holes, and then the middle hole is the uh, screw hole. Uh, so it'll line up basically with the uh, hinge that's on the uh, for the door. So we'll go ahead and get that uh, lined up. And once lined up. I'll go ahead and close it. And then it should be flush with the body. And then I will flip this over and then screw it from the inside. Uh, just like that. Then we will <coughs> uh, use the uh, 1DS12 screw. The screw, same screw that we uh, did to pre-tap the uh, hole for the door. So uh, just to show you. And the door is attached just like that. Just like that. <clears throat> and then next uh, we will carefully set the uh, body aside and then we will uh, work on the uh, interior. 
uh, panel for it. So this is the uh, interior panel <coughs> uh, around the uh, door. And then we will be adding the air vent uh, control, uh, which is this one right here, uh, over to this part uh, of the hole. Uh, if we uh, zoom in, you can see the uh, hole has a little notch. Uh, it'll line up with the uh, air vent uh, that's on here. So basically, the air vent control will only fit in one direction. And then the uh, there's a tiny hole for the uh, tiny little pin that's on the uh, control as well. It's going to slide right through, just like that. And then we're going to flip it over, and then we're going to secure that in place with one PS05 screw. So let's go ahead and get that screwed in. So just like that. Then next, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the uh, ashtray which is this, this little tiny uh, silver piece right there. It's going to go into uh, uh, this two holes there. Again, uh, it only fits uh, in one way because uh, each hole is a different size. So it'll be just like that. And then we will flip this over and then we're going to secure the ashtray into place with one PS12 screw. So let's go ahead and get that screwed in. And then next, what uh, we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to uh, stick on the door sill uh, trim sticker, which is this little silver sticker uh, right here. And then we're going to place that right onto the door trim at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get that uh, trim installed or sticked on. So it'll be sticked on just like uh, <coughs> that, as you can see. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to install the body uh, panel trim, uh, which is this piece uh, right here. So this is going to go uh, into this little uh, gap right here, and it's going to curve around to the inside. So I'll just go ahead and get that uh, clicked in. Just like that. <clears throat> so if you zoom out, uh, this is how the uh, uh, inside body panel for the door will look like. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to the uh, inside of the main body. So let's bring back the main body. So as you can see, we have the main body right there, the door attached. So I'll zoom out just a little bit. Then next, uh, we're going to install this uh, <clears throat> frame. Uh, basically, the screw for the frame was right... Uh, over uh, here, <coughs> these two uh, screw holes. So we will go ahead and uh, get that seated in. Uh, the door sill is uh, for the uh, interior panel. It's going to go underneath this little metal uh, part there. That's uh, for the on the bottom of the frame. Basically, it'll sit uh, just like that. Uh, <clears throat> one thing to note, uh, the door panel, uh, plastic uh, door uh, panel here for the inside uh, has two little notches. Uh, that's going to sit, sit uh, right underneath the uh, uh, door sill frame, the metal piece uh, that's right sitting there that's part of the main body, just to let you know. And then we will secure uh, uh, both sides of the uh, body panel with two D, uh, one DS02 screw on each end. Uh, it's gonna the screw's gonna be inside, so we need to put the uh, screwdriver through there. So just like that, uh, as you can see, we now got the uh, right side uh, door as well as the uh, interior uh, door panel uh, installed. So that is it for stage 83. In stage 84, uh, we will be attaching the left inside body panel and also installing the left uh, door onto the body, uh, similar to what we did in the previous stage. So let's get started. So first off, uh, we will be pre-tapping uh, another uh, DS12 screw onto the left uh, door to make it easier to screw in. So let's get that started. 
So now once that we uh, pre-tap the screw, we'll get the uh, main body back and then get the uh, left side door installed. So as you can see here, it's the uh, left side of the body. Then basically we'll be uh, attaching the left door onto there, just like that. Then we're going to flip uh, the body over and secure that in place to the body with one DS12 screw. So let's get that screwed in. So once the uh, door is installed, as you can see here, we will go ahead and uh, uh, set the main body aside. Then we will install uh, the air vent uh, control again uh, onto the uh, body panel there. Then we will secure, uh, screw that in with one PS05 screw. Then we will uh, get the ashtray <coughs> and also get that uh, installed onto the panel. And then we will screw that in with one uh, PS12 uh, screw. Then what we're going to do uh, is we're going to attach the uh, dorsal trim sticker again. So go ahead and get the sticker here and then get that installed. So they install just like that. And then we will get the body panel trim and install that trim uh, onto this uh, lower part there. So be installed uh, just like that. Then we'll be installing this back to the main body. So bring over the body. And then we will install this right here. Uh, and again, uh, make sure the uh, bottom of the sill of the body uh, goes underneath the uh, metal piece. Uh, there, just like that. And then we will screw that in with uh, using two DS02 screws. So let's get that screwed in. So as you can see, uh, we now got the screws uh, installed. So uh, for the left side, the door and the inside panel will look just like that. So that is it for stage uh, 84. So as you can see in pack 10, uh, we installed the uh, both of the uh, doors on the left and right side, as well as the interior panels uh, for the uh, doors as well. Then also the uh, rear uh, windows, the windshield, the wiper, as well as the uh, interior ceiling panel, as well as, uh, as you can see, uh, you also got the rear view mirror, as well as the uh, two uh, sun visors. So, so far, uh, the build is uh, looking very nice. Oh, and we also installed the uh, little rear uh, cover there uh, underneath the rear uh, window as you can see but anyways uh, the build so far is looking nice I think we're starting to get close to the uh, finish line here for the uh, DB5 series from 007 uh, but very looking very nice can't wait to actually put the rest of the uh, interior onto the uh, body uh, to make it uh, complete but uh, uh, like I said we'll be getting close uh, to completing this model can't wait to show you the uh, final uh, um, model there once we get there but anyways I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe as always thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye